urban beekeeper Paul DuPont explains his experience raising bees when it was still in a legal gray area. I have three hives that I have in my backyard. Now you notice where I have my bees. They're more, about 50 feet from all my neighbors. City Council today voted to enact legislation to better investigate beekeeping practices in an urban environment like this one here. It's great that all the councilmen are positive about this, okay? There wasn't anybody that was negative. It was all the yes vote all the way around. However, some beekeepers like Dale Wilcox from the Natural Honey Company are concerned about this vote. Why do we need to regulate something that's not a problem? There are, I have not heard, I have not read, I have not uh, seen any issues that are brought up by people being stung or bothered by bees. No regulation is a problem. You're also, I'm responsible for my neighbors. There should be a limitation on the number of hives that one could have in an urban environment. Council could reframe the motion and make it something very simple and say, the city does not hold uh, anything against people who are uh, keeping bees and not bothering their neighbors. Regardless of regulation, most beekeepers agree that there are health benefits to raising bees in urban areas. You have to have varieties of pollens and, and nectars and all that sort of stuff to make a really healthy bee. And that's what you get in an urban environment. Although beekeepers comprise the proponents and opponents of the new bill, both groups will be needed to provide expertise on an urban bee feasibility report due in 58 days. Bars and reporting.